Hello, everyone. It's been a while, but welcome back. We're doing more Genshin Impact today. I went a little crazy lately in Genshin, so as you can see, we now have Furion into the team. Ah. Best girl. Um, and then I got Baiju, which I've been wanting since the game came out, basically. My dream team is Baiju, Ito, Farina, and Shenha. So we're halfway there. We're official halfway there on the team. I don't have their weapons. That's going to be a long time in the making, but like... I gotta save up for Ito, because he's coming up very soon, so I have to save up, so I can't roll for their weapons, but I can at least get them. So, yeah. It's been pretty cool. I've been having a lot of fun with them. They're definitely not maxed out. Noelle is still the strongest member on the team, by far. Um, but they're good enough, you know. Then we're gonna go back to doing um, Shenha's Archon Quest. Or not Archon Quest, whatever, whatever the quests are called. The quest! Let's see. Shincho said it should be around here, but Paimon doesn't see God, she's so pretty. I love her so much. Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Seely. I'm not used to the Seelys being part of like quests. That's pretty cool. Shower me with praise. Aha, I can walk on water now. Hello. Where are we going? The Seely got to here and then disappear. Should we go over and take a look? Nah, let's just ignore it, Paimon. <laughs> Recommend ice. I know just who to bring. Where's because I got another new character, obviously, because I was rolling for them. I obviously got Charlotte. Let's I got get quite a I got like all six copies of Charlotte. So I really like her actually. She's cute. I like Charlotte. So if I need ice, we'll bring that. <clears throat> what? Were we at a waterfall just now? Whoa. How did we suddenly end up here? This is pretty. Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With yeah, any man. luck, the sunset for Millionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see. Huh? Isn't that the Sealy from before? God, she's so pretty. Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the clouds. And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. Oh, could there be something below the clouds? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. Okay. All right, I'm gonna break a shed. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. I right, Captain. Do I get to test drive Senha? Please let me test drive Senha. Yes! Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, that's neat. God, her attack animations are great. Look at her. She's so pretty. I want her so bad. Oh, I can walk on the clouds. That's useful. Strike a pose. Obey. Oh no, she's great. I love her. Manifest. Oh yeah. No, I love her. <clears throat> she real pretty. I want Shenha bad. I assume I have to go to the other one real quick. Mm. 
mind the side effects. Yoo-hoo! Obey! Manifest! Unleash! It's cool that she gets two charges of that. That's really useful, actually. That is pretty darn useful. stuck in a stupid tree. There we go. Uh, okay, that didn't work. I thought I could, like, cling to the side of that. It did not work. And I don't have Wanderer. There we go. That time it worked. That tree made it a little awkward. I'll catch up. that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Please. Ah, oh, it's so okay. cool! Ah, oh, she's so cool! Hold that pose! Manifest! Time to shine! The Dacu will see you. Obey! In your dreams! Cryo incarnate! God, she's so cool. The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. I must leave no stone unturned. Destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Your master's bidding. Leave it all to me, as a good knight should. We're gonna get up now. Your turn, big guy. Yep, there we go. Knew it. All right, let's kill him. Beat his ass. Oh 
on us. We're gonna fall. This time, we're really gonna fall. <laughs> so high. <sighs> Luckily, there was a pool of water at the bottom. Otherwise, that could have ended very differently. <laughs> Paimon, we have a oh, glider. That Sealy's on the move again. Let's catch up with it. I don't even see the Sealy. Huh. Something looks different about this stone wall. Let's take a closer look. Love a good old maze. I really don't, I'm kidding. Someone needs assistance. I am here. Hold that hook! Hard hitting exclusive! Unleash! Taking a turn for the better. A bitter pill to swallow. Ugh. Let the world collide! <laughs> By ordinance divine, manifest! Obey! Leave it all to me, as a dutiful maid would. An emergency. A bitter pill to swap. Time to clean up. Lead the way. Where am I going, champ? Look over there! Could that be the sunset for Millionite? I sure fucking hope so. chair right here. Anyway. It's gonna be really hard to bring that home. Is this the sunset Vermillionite? That, uh, that might be a pain in the ass to bring home. doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. I love her so much. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. 
The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. <laughs> I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. <laughs> My master doesn't shut the fuck up. Hold on a sec. Paimon just realized something. Oh no. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too! But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely! Definitely. Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. You can lift a thousand pounds? Sure? Uh, be careful! Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. My safety. That's right! I'm unsure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense! Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. Is it now? I'll go on ahead with the plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. <laughs> hey, she... Jenga, able to carry that huge rock all by herself. <laughs> huh. Adept I super strength much? <laughs> we can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. I can't believe Shenha can just canonically lift that up and fucking leave. Uh, okay. And I thought Noelle was strong. Well, Noelle's strong for a mortal, I guess. I guess Shinha is an adept die. Or trained by an adept die, so that makes her an adept I don't fucking know the rules. I don't understand the rules of what constitutes an adept die and what doesn't. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. I also can't. Oh my god, I can't How believe can my she eyes. she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. She sure is. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. <laughs> bountiful salary? This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations. This item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenha! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper, it's secretary. But a secretary helps. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? But a secretary Pretty helps. Easy, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. Yeah. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. Well, that's good. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. I don't sleep. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praise, Paimon can't help but hold her head up high and break into a big, smug smile! It's 
Paimon's I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Aww. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. Uh. But uh, I am not... Uh. Shanna? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. No, you're not. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. All right? Seriously, All right? don't punish yourself like this. I refuse to say Paimon's right, but okay. she is right. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. I refuse to say that Paimon's right, but she's right. Can I function, huh? Do do. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Right There's construction going on in my house. So I'm trying to minimize the banging so that no one has to hear it, but it might still come through. And I can't do much about that. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, it's down there. What? How are the fuck are we gonna fit more than like two people in there? When they said temporary hotel, they meant very temporary. That's like. No one can fit in there. Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. How uh, can I have one room? Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. I love her. Hey! Isn't that clever, Tina? Ah, Devil Chicken. Hi, Devil Chicken. Let's go and say hi. The Devil Chicken. Of course, she has to go up on top of the fucking mountain and make me climb. She can't come down and talk like a normal person. <sighs> Oi. Come here, you fucking peasant. Hi. One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? I'm going to marry her. So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen He too, Claire Bettina? Naturally. 
Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He, to some degree. Cool! So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking, maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead! Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adeptus name? Because she's an Adeptus? Don't all Adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh! Oh! Right. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? You knew already? So is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Yep. Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Well, she can lift thousands of pounds, so yeah, that's a little different. Well, to start with, her problem-solving methods are... extremely direct. Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever-vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shanha, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival, but not so her. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with <laughs> which she was Bloodlust and homicidal instinct. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. Eesh. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shenhua may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though! Why was a tiny little against the wrath of a god in the first place! Cause she cray cray and I Alas, love her. Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constitution making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. That's so hot. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of Calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. I can Such fix her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. I can fix her. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her 
somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the Red Ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you. And take good care of her. Once she's on summoning, I will. Oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shen He because you were worried about her, didn't you? Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. You're a bad liar. Ning Guang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well... One is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. Oh wait, are you not kidding with me? I thought if you were fucking with me. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. That's fair, I guess. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Why can't you be this nice when we first met? Hi. So, Shen He isn't an Adeptus after all. She just grew up around the Adepti. Oh, no wonder she doesn't like being treated as an Adeptus. Hi, Bean. How are you? Everyone falling over themselves to show their respect all the time must be kind of hard to deal with. Oh, you changed your name? That makes sense why I was like, I'm like, why doesn't it say you're a new chatter, but I don't recognize that name. Okay, hi Ruby. <laughs> that confused me. Okay. I was like, I was like, man, my memory's really bad, apparently, but no, okay. I have to wait until the following day. Ah! I didn't almost kill myself. No, you're good. Don't be sorry. I just have a bad memory. Um, I have to wait till 8 and 12. Uh that right there. That's good enough. Fuck it. Yay! Where's our wife now? Oh, I was standing in the right spot, I guess. Wife! Uh, hey! So, Shenhe. I love you. Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. You're very smart. Or you have really good hearing. How did you know? I'm good, how are you? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. <laughs> I don't After all, huh? master is... very talkative. She is, despite being such a bitch. <laughs> You're uh? Why are you uh? What happened? Baked is the best way to put it's it. It's okay. Well, that's fair. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything. Are you baked on purpose or because, because of like in medical my experience, drugs? Experience trying to explain is a futile pursuit. Still, though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. No, I'm treating you as I would a wife. For this, I'm very grateful indeed. Good, then marry me. To be fair, we've met our fair share of real adepti too. Marry me. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend. Whether you're an adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. It's recreational for medical. Oh, okay. That's fair. Just plain old friends. Well, then it's not a bad thing, right. at least, if it's at least somewhat recreational. Although I don't know quite what it entails. If it's in terms sometimes, right? I, I mean, somewhat recreational, I then it's fine, I, like I guess. I like the title friend very much indeed. How about wife? How do you feel about the title wife? Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. Oh, yeah, there are more items. <laughs> but before we do that, Let's go to the building site and ask Ningguang's little helper how the progress is going. Paimon, she really yeah, hates when you call her that. Since that Vermilionite is so rare, Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. If it turns out some of them have given up already, question. we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. 
Yay! Not the life question. Oh, and another thing. Where am we I? We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! They're so good. I want a fucking grilled chicken drumstick. I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. I want a grilled chicken drumstick. Where's mine? This game's gonna make me fucking hungry. Hiya! Alright, I didn't get to make it. Look, God, her fucking the thighs. Is floating into the sky. Her thighs could break rocks. Um, but it seems to be tied down by something. Those are and called that's ropes. Because it's not finished. It's called ropes, Paimon. And rockets do play now, I guess. Oh, really? Wild. Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work. I did not know it was free. Now that's wild. Sure the structure remains balanced. I guess they must be doing well for Before themselves as a some company. Plostrite, that's good for them, I guess. We build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed Jade Chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release Apparently the iron already. tethers and allow the Jade Chamber to rise to its target That's altitude. That's wild, though. That's cool, Miss though. Miss Bywin, we've brought some new materials to submit. One moment. I'll be right there. No one's there. Uh, Who the is she talking to? The work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Well, I am pretty great. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Well, I am the greatest. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Hi, Beidou. Beidou? You're joining the Jade Chamber contest too? Why are you surprised, Paimon? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. She's so cute. Greetings. She's adorable and These I love her. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies of mine. And this is, um, sorry, I'm uh, not sure we've met. This is my wife. Shenhe. I am there. Friend. Yes, and wife. <laughs> good to meet you. A friend of a friend is my friend too, or as I like to say, a mate of a crewmate is part of the crew. Our... Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. I'm... It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. Wow. So it looks like the three of us are competitors now. Time to beat them up. Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe. Are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. Lady Ning Wong said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together. To secure the top three places between us. Well, I do, do like think? everyone here. Sounds great, but how does that change things exactly? We'd be a team, Paimon. What do you mean? <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss Yoon. The plostrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? I love Precisely. Beidou. Huh. Interesting approach. God, her eyes okay, are then. wild. All right, I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. 
From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. I'm gonna head back to the ship and ask Su Ling if he's heard of them. You guys... We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmongers. Thoughts? Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later. I think the only thing about Shenha's design I don't like is her shoes. Okay, because those high go. heels are ridiculous. But like, for some reason, Hoyo Wait, seems to like to put every character in high heels. I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. That's all you want? That's Ooh, hilarious. What's the opera called? Paima wants to go see it. The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus. It's called The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Oh, <laughs> is it about Shenha? <laughs> the Divine Damsel of Devastation. That's a hell of a title, actually. Well, Shenha has a new adeptus name, I guess. The Divine Damsel of Devastation. That's fucking metal, actually. <laughs> it sounds like a metal cal album cover. Whee! I believe I can fly. And boop. Hello. Hmm? Ah, hello. Are you here for something off the shelf, or do you need something forged? Forged. Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Yun Jin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yoon. <clears throat> Sorry. My brain's finally caught up. <sighs> it's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. So, like myself. you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. Well, that one's very blunt <laughs> sure. and honest, at least. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and Subrosium. If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter Iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the Subrosium, though, hmm, that's trickier. It's all but unheard of on the market. Uh. I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I've heard is that the people around Mount Tianhung have some sort of magic trick that can pinpoint the location of the stuff. Magic? Stone. Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhung. And if you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Subrosium. Subrosium. Mount Tianhung. I love her. Look how pretty she is. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation also takes place on that mountain. I hear the view there is quite spectacular. A favorite destination of the Adepti, in fact. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not delay. We should head straight there. Aye, aye Captain. Yep. Whee! Um, 
teleportation. Oh, good, I have a teleport right by there. Radical. I love when a plan comes together. I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks and the gently flowing streams. It's like setting foot in paradise. Paradise. No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devastation is said to have taken place here. Adepti wander oft where mortals seldom stride. Indeed, this looks like a place that one might expect to be frequented by Adepti. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And the story takes place in Mount Tianhang. Huh. Seems like you have a real connection with this place. What's the story about, though? It's the story of a girl becoming a hero. Cool. I need a, a hero. hero story? They're Paimon's favorite. So I Paimon the hangs out with me. The legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day. A terrifying monster appeared. Pause for dramatic effect. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. A child. What a nasty piece of work! Ugh. Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! Paimon, don't interrupt! But the monster was so terrible Shut up. and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! Paimon, shut up! Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster, from which she eventually emerged as the victor. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her story became the stuff of legends, but alas, the paths of mortals and adepti seldom cross, and she would never again re-enter the mortal world. And so, destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment, she vanished like a wisp of smoke into thin air. <laughs> That's how the opera ends. Hi, Ashley. I really like this story. It's yours! But I personally think that perhaps the little girl was not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I don't I'm know. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Hmm. I've never considered that before. Opera is always I'm a, an I'm good. How about you? Yeah, it has been a while. It purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention was That's to good. inspire his audience with the character of the Divine Damsel. Divine hmm. Damsel? I think it's a great story. The ideal story. Well, it sure inspired Paimon! Let's go get ourselves some Star Splinter Iron! Yeah! Paimon, I'm gonna kill you. Normally I like your funny interruptions, but Shen Ha's hot. Don't interrupt your story. Uh, use vision to find Star Splinter Iron. Okay. Just bash the vision against a rock. Oh. I hear something. You got you, Farina? I, yeah, I did get Farina. 
<laughs> yeah, I did get Farina. I love her a lot. Ironically, I'm still... Oh, Stress my I found it. Ironically, I'm still, like, in Sumero for the story, so I haven't actually met Farina. I can't do her quest yet. But I have so many quests I need to get caught up on. But yeah, I really like her. Her kit's really fun. This should be enough Star Splendor Iron. Radical. Now we just need to find that Sabrosium. Sabrosium. I, I saw a village on our way here. Whee. Master Jong said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? But yeah, I got Farina, and by accident, I also got Charlotte. So now I can be an annoying reporter. I got like seasick Charlotte by accident trying to get Farina. Hey, there really is someone here. Hello. Yunjin, looks like you were right. Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? A Baizu? I mean, I did get Baizu too because I want Baizu. <gasps> I love Baizu. I, yeah, I got Baizu. He's in the party too, if you saw him. I'm really happy to get Baizu too. My ideal team is, ironically, I want Ito, who I think comes next month, so I'm super hyped about Ito. And then I want Shenha. That's like my dream team. No, yeah, I got Baizu too. I went really hard on this banner. I saved up, like, I had been saving up for a very long time, and then I, like, blew everything I had to get both of them. So I can't get either of their weapons, because Baizu did not want to come home. Chi-Chi, I lost the 50-50 at Chi-Chi, so it took, like, everything I had. Um, so I don't have either of their weapons, which I'm willing to live with for now, because I need to start saving up now to get Ito. And then I'm going to get Ito, and I'm going to try to get Ito's weapon. And then I'm going to get Shenha, and depending how much Primos I have, maybe Shenha's weapon. And then I'll just wait until Furina and Baizu's weapons come back up. But yeah, that's my dream, my dream team. I don't know if it's a good team, but I don't care about meta. I just want to use Ito, Shenha, Furina, and Baizu. I don't care about meta. I just want that team. Hello, sir. We were just passing by and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything Ito's about my favorite character in the game still. I don't care. I love Ito. He's so funny. I want him badly. <sighs> Why is this guy a zombie? Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Yeah, I love Chi-Chi, but she de I definitely lose the 50-50 to Chi-Chi -Chi a lot. Already. I love her. She's adorable, Shin but <laughs> she kills me sometimes. She's adorable, but she's Sorry, killing me. You can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. But Shen ha. If that's okay with you, Uncle Ming Jin. You have an uncle? It's... It's... You have an uncle? Shen ha. Shen ha. You are alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years? I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Sabrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. And God, Senha's so pretty. Now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. Huh? You know this guy, Shenha? Well, she just called him Uncle Paimon, so that would be how she knows him. Uh... You just Thank called him Uncle. Kind, sir. We'll go and take a look around. Don't worry. Mingjin has no ill intention towards Miss Shenha. She'll be quite safe. Well, I wasn't worried about her safety, considering Shenha could also fold him like a pretzel. Ryan Shogun. No, the Ryan Shogun's pretty cool. She's on my. I want to get all the Archons eventually. I think the Archon I want the most right now is a toss up between. Well, I like Furina the best because she makes me laugh, so I got Furina first. But, like, the other Archons I want. It's really hard to decide if I want Nadia or Zhongli the most because I think they're both really cool. And Zhongli's ultimate is really cool. I really like his ultimate, I think it's neat. But Nadia is also really cute. And then I want the Ryan Shogun, and then I care very little about Venti, I'll be real. Venti's funny, but I care very little about him. I, I could not care less. What did I get? What loot? A branch family of exorcists used to live in the, in the east of this village. Of a god. An abandoned village. Mount Tianhong. I'm talking. Um, Does this mean the that the true Mage, story of the divine damsel of devastation happened right here? In this village? 
Well, yeah, the time you said it was this mountain. Matches. So it seems we're in the right area. Let's keep looking around. I love that Shen Hao was six when this happened, and she looks like she's like maybe if I'm being I mean it's hard to tell with anime, but like Shen Hao's maybe 30 right now. And that's her uncle, who's probably maybe in his 50s. And they're acting like this is some ancient legend when it happened, like, not even that long ago. <laughs> like, it's not that long ago that Shen Ha did this shit, and they're acting like she's some ancient myth. I have all but Venti, who I hate, <laughs> That's fair. Venti just... His kit doesn't really wow me. And, like, his character's funny in cutscenes, but I feel like he's funny because he annoys all the other characters. Ooh, chat, why can't I get cereal? Take it. I know, Farina's really cute. Strike a pose. I, Farina's adorable. Did you say Venti? That's fair. Venti definitely does not wow me. Venti doesn't wow me. Jean Lee makes me laugh, What's at least. This? The doctor said you were gravely ill. Don't worry, I'll give everything I have to save you. My heart bleeds whenever I see you getting weary. Your illness is beyond treatment. I wish I could suffer the pain for you. You said that you have no regrets in life. You only wish for me to take good care of Shenha. But if you regret nothing, why the tears? Most people don't cry when they're dying, dude. I don't know what I've been doing lately, though I still breathe. I feel like an empty shell. I have read all the ancient texts I could get my hands on looking for a way to save you, but it's utterly futile. I finally found it. It was Mingjin. He has kept the book that could save you hidden. I took it and followed the instructions to summon a god and offer a sacrifice. The god appeared. I told him if he was, I was willing to exchange my life for yours, but he kept silent and pointed at our daughter, Shenha. The god said her fate was to bear the curse of calamity and that she was prone to bring harm to those close to her. The god also said that she might even have been the one to cause your death. In that case, I thought I should. I left her in the cave that the god mentioned. Three days have passed and still no news. I grow restless waiting, waiting, seized by ominous feelings. I am sorry, my love. Forgive me. You too, Shenha. Please forgive me. How stupid I was. How blind. Let me apologize to both of you in person. Wow, dad of the year. Just sacrifice your daughter to Satan because he told you to. You're dumb. You never take the demon deal because it never works. You're dumb. Maybe this is the true story. You think? So, Shenha is the divine damsel? You think? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus. And she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. I mean, I especially should have According noticed it earlier. According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. Well, that makes a better and story. She didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Yep. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen Ha said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Yep, people suck. Oh. It looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. That'll be a tragedy then. Hmm. We've looked everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosium. Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. Where is over there? Oh, up there. I was like, it says above me. I'm like, what? But yeah, I don't blame you for Venti, hating Venti. I think he's definitely the least cool of the Archons we've gotten so far. Hopefully the Pyro Archon's really cool. Because if the Pyro Archon's lame, that'll be sad. Oh, you got Nubalette? He is pretty cool. I do like him. He seems like a cool guy. Not that I've done the Archon quest to, like, meet him yet, but he seems like a cool guy. I do like him. And I'm not even going to try to say... I'm just going to call him Wesley. I'm not going to try to even say his name. Magic engraving so does not wear off easily. Some believe the stone is rich and the dead. of the lake south of Mount Tianhong at dusk, and we'll find us some sabrosium. Like the direction of the setting Let's stone. Let's go back and tell the news. That's the most specific instructions. It was a must. No ifs or buts. That's fair. He is really cool. I mean, he's a dragon. He shoots a big dumb water hyper beam. Uh, the event going on right now, like what the heck was it called? Like this thing. I remember this one let me use him, and it was really fun to use him. I had a lot of fun using him. So, like, yeah, he's pretty cool. I would, I definitely might get him when his banner comes around again if I have um, Primo's. He's definitely cool. I do like him. One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. 
I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. Yeah? I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well, we all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Well, wish granted. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. Damn. I love how blunt she is. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you Aww. still hate him? I would! I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Yeah, no shit! Shenha, we're back! Hi, wife. Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. Define okay! I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, is... mister. We found some info in the end. When is next time? You Shenha, don't even know where she what? lives. I don't even know where she lives. We find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. Let's go then. All right, Captain. Uh, Young Jin, don't make it weird. Miss Shenha, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Don't make it weird. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth, but now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. Aww. B uh, huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others, is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day, I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl Trying in the Trying to get the Fiona, Fiona and Ayato. That's fair, Ayato's really cool too, I, I do like her. I'm probably butchering her name, Ayato? Ayato? I Don't can't Don't worry. Fucking... I'm done with I them. believe you will. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shenhua, Yunjin, cut the chit chat. Let's go. Paimon, shut up. They're having a moment. Why are you I like this? Someone else beat us to it. No one else knows we're here. Literally, no one else knows we're here. We just found a relic in a destroyed village. What rush are you in? The Riding Shogun is cool. My friend JJ really wants to ride in Shogun badly. Murder, but look, I have the doctor! Remember, health comes first. I have the doctor that for some reason has a large crotch bulge. Hold that pose. Oh, they're dead. I love that she has a camera. This girl makes me laugh. I love Charlotte. And now that I have Purina, I can do this! I no longer care about water! Around 17.30, okay. Um, I no longer care about water! Water is a myth. I know I don't have to care about mechanics anymore. Hey, look, my little friends are still in the shot. 
Yeah, no, it's so it's so nice being able just to ignore water, just just not caring. And also, this ability has permanent uptime. As long as the ability's up, I can do it. And it, uh, well, if I time it right, it has permanent uptime. If I don't fuck it up, if I time it right, or you can be like me and fuck it up and then fall in the water. But you know. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah. Jao, what are you doing here? That's everything we need. Let's head back and report in. Why are they attacking that rock? Simon's curious if Beto's made any progress. What are you guys doing? What are they attacking? I don't know. What are you doing here? What brings you here? Rocks. Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? Nin Guang didn't tell you. Nope, I haven't talked Something to him. Something really. has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not get involved for now. Ah, come on, you can get involved. You're fine. You're but these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. Only a single mountain lies between here and Liyue Harbor. Okay. If things get out of control, I will defend this place myself. Valid. Okay. Well, I hope you don't have to do that, Zhao. I love you. You're another guy I kind of want, but I don't want you as bad as, like, Shenha and Ito and stuff, so you're kind of low on the list. But I do like you. I think you're neat. I like your Oni mask. I wish you'd wear the Oni mask all the time, but it looks cool. But yeah, see, I have the doctor. I have the doctor. Whee! Hello. Oh, goodness. So, are they okay? They better be okay. This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Woo! Guess now it's my time to shine. Do it, homie. Hey, everyone. How's the A-team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Now I got that sort Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Thanks, man. But don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. I love you. You're the best. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next. But where should we find items relating to the Adepti? Hey, Shen, huh? Can we I'll call Cloud Retainer? Do we have, like, a bird oh? call for Cloud Retainer? You got this, then? Do we yes. Have, like, a bird call? I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. Oh, you can just make them. That's even when better. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. That's nice Master of also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Now you're fine. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you. And I'll take care of those adept eye sigils. No, you're here. You're staying. Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. You're staying. Just wait till you're on right up. Paths have crossed. We'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. When you're on right up, you're so, coming. I don't care. Master Zhang, I'll need to use I will your destroy facilities everything. to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the adept eye arts work. Maybe I'll learn something. I can't make shit. Whew. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. Well, Cloud Retainer is also like a billion years old, so that's not really I've your fault. I finished forging the things you asked for, too. Thanks, man. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us. All the blacksmiths in this game are so nice. Paimon, these things are very difficult to make. I doubt anyone's going to beat us to making it. This shit is all really hard. We literally went through an abandoned village and, like, looked at the sun to find the rock. 
I don't think anyone's gonna beat us to it. If they do, I'll be fucking shocked and question how. We did some highly specific shit. I didn't know it was a pit. Let me up. Hello. I have returned. Ning Guang's little secretary. We found all the materials. Stop calling her little. Oh, already? All three of you found them together. Okay, I see. The wonder cores and adepti sigils look good. It seems that we found our winners. Fuck yeah. Even though we kind of cheated since um, Shen Hao was apparently supposed to give her the, the Adepti or Sigils regardless. The material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beido. Where's what? Beido go? It's over already. Where's Beido? I haven't even found the plush strike yet. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. So I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. She already rebuilt it? Where's Beido? She was right here! Captain Beido has some business to attend to. She will join later. Please come with me for now. Beido's also married to Ningguang. I feel like she doesn't need to ask her a question. Right, then. Guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first. This has been a long time coming. The last time we went up to the Jade Chamber was... Ages ago. Well, it's because it blew up, Piedmon. We blew it up. Well. I don't know. Oh, hi, Ningguang. Are we going Combine up? Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Nice. Once the tethers are released... It will soar into the sky. Why do you sound so dead inside Thank about it? Thank you all for your work. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Yeah! Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your involvement. You are looking for a venue for your new opera, aren't you? That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yoon's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here, in the newly built Jade Chamber? The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yoon. But how will people get here? Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. Please allow me to bring all these aboard the Jade Chamber. You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Oh, the Traveler, Shenha, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. Okay. You're next. What is your question? I don't know. I should clarify. I do not know your sister's whereabouts. Please, don't waste your question on this matter. What if I just ask anyway? <laughs> You're a mind reader, Ningguang. Oh well. Guess Paimon will ask a question then. Oi! I did all the work! A successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, connections, sensitivity to the trends, and instinct for what is a good opportunity. All of these traits are crucial. If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Wow. Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet. Well, you're very predictable. Your question was written all over your face. Now look. You helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. I appreciate that. So I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may seek employment here. I will pay you at the highest rate of remuneration. Nice. Oh, great! So next time we run out of Mora, we just need to come to Ningguang? No more questions.
questions from us. Shenha, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. And Beto's not here, so fuck her, apparently. Thank you. But I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'd urge you not to squander it. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon can probably think of another one. Paimon. Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in Liyue Harbor. Liyue. Huh. A sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it, it always requires a reason. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of Liyue, and you will become accustomed to it. Liyue. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beto! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved with the contest. Oh, so you just wanted to win for the sake of winning. Don't forget what we talked about. It's not going to be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. Don't worry. I have made preparations. The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. Oh, they're dealing with the monster. Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Stay alert. Beto? Ningguang? What are you talking about? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. I mean, if a monster attacks, I'm gonna figure out eventually, so you might as well just tell me. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. Liyue. At that they time, are lesbians, you are correct. I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen in all seven nations of Tevat. You need a lot bigger. Not changed to this very day. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyue Harbor, Liyue. bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human world. And I hope that you can all witness it with me. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! God, Shen is so hot. I believe I can fly. We're back, baby! Jade Chamber's back, baby. What weird timing that the second we go up, the god gets angry. Oh, that looks so... Oh, I killed you a second ago! Well, I guess we're dropping the Jade Chamber on him again. Alright, let's drop the Jade Chamber on him again. Ning Guan, did you put, like, turrets on this thing or something? Like a rail gun? Something? Right on cue. The Avenger of the Vortex. The Avenger of the Vortex? Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! <laughs> Beto sensed something was I do not use character AI. Did. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Oh, that's why she woke up. That makes sense. Got it. Well, let's go fetch the Adepta. No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone. Why are you a four star? I have questions on why you're a four star. Oh, hi, catching. My girl. Hey, gone you, my other girl. Okay, so she did make turrets. That's what I would have done. I'm glad she made turrets. That's what I would have fucking done. God, the Avenger of the Vortex is such a cool name. Hi, Beto! I wanna, I wanna fight the giant dragon. I wanna fight it. 
she C5 for you. Why is she the only ruler of a nation who's a four star? I feel like Ningguang got fucking shafted. Oh, that's a big wave. It is a tsunami, you are correct. I don't think you can outrun a tsunami, but okay. Hey, can we go higher? We're a little low. Very, very good, it is a giant wave. Uh, everyone's gonna die. Oh yeah, Ganyu, can she freeze it? Hey, uh, hey Ganyu, what am I gonna do? Falco! Oh, I was gonna punch it. Oh good, it knows Hyper Beam. No, oh, well, I tried. <laughs> At least I gave it the old college try. Ah, life! Ah, life! Wife, I love you. Hot. You are a cursed child. No, don't mean to my wife. Brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. Wow, your dad was a dick. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. Thank you, Magic Chicken. She's so hot. God, I love powerful women. She's never been hotter. Ah! Hi, Ma, you scared the shit out of me. Thank you. Is she gonna kill the dragon just by herself? Yeah, shoot the dragon. Dragon. Is she gonna chase it? <laughs> Can I go help? I want to fight the dragon. What are oh, you fuck doing? yeah. I can't let you be the only one taking this risk. I hardly see this as a great risk. Ah! The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only she Camera. is keeping her alive. I'm ah. nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. No, don't fight to the death. We'll help you. Come here. Fight me. Where'd you go? I have a camera. Where are you? Smile. Will you stop doing that? Oh, you have multiple heads again. Okay, that's great. Leave it all to me. Time to clean up. No, come here. Come here so I can beat you up. I have shields. I don't have to care about your attacks. Yep. Fuck you. Grass. No, come here for a picture. Whoa, now I want to know. You motherfucker, come here. Obey. Unleash. Hard hitting exclusive. That was stupid of me, I missed. Come here. Well, Fiorina cannot help us fight at all. A bitter pill to swallow. Ah, you missed. Seems like an emergency. Hold that pose. Come here. Stone unturned. By ordinance Wife. divine. Manifest. Wife, die. 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 Come here. No, come back. I love Shenhoff so much. Say cheese. Mind the side effect. Obey. Be dead. No, come back. Come here. You stupid gecko. Come here. Want your picture taken? I can't take the picture yet. Hold on. Come here. You want your picture taken? Pop your head up. Where'd you go? Picture. Haha! -ha. Oh, I pissed it off. Ah, ah. Bring it! Fight me! Fight me, you bitch! Ah! 
Oh, I love the Rose Save for the Raiden Shogun. That's right, the Raiden Shogun's really cool. I mean, everyone loves the Raiden Shogun. I think the Raiden Shogun... I knew about the Raiden Shogun before I even started playing Genshin. Unleashed. The Raiden Shogun is, like, so popular. God, her ult is so cool. Manifest. Steady as stone. As a good night No, come here! Bring your fucking snout back! She's the best DPS. That's fair. Uh, Ito is my... In my mind. I will... I don't care. I don't even have him yet. I just want him. Want your picture taken? <laughs> Not that Charlotte does that much damage yet, because I haven't had the chance to upgrade her, because I've been focusing Farina, but still. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go Farina. May I present? Someone needs assistance. Come here. Want your picture taken? Snapshot. Boy, oh, let me out. Uh, now. I must leave no stone. Come here. Okay. Manifest. Breaking news. No, I, I love that Charlotte just takes pictures to kill people. I love it. She's so dumb. Picture. <laughs> ah, stop it. Hey, stop. 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 You're being rude. Stop it. I can't hit you over there. Come here. Stop hiding where I can't hit you. Uh, yeah, I don't really have need for her. I just like using her because she's fun. Picture. Stay Will you action. stop doing this war vortex bullshit? Come here. Unleash. Manifest by ordinance divine. Taking the turn for the better. A bitter pill to Come here. Stop running away from me. God damn it! Lose my shit. Come here. I'll catch up. Leave it all to me. Fucking gecko. The show begins. There we go. You stupid gecko. This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. No, I can take her. What do you mean? If the place collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. Let's head back. No, I can take her. Well, that was fun. A little annoying that I couldn't hit her more often, but... <sighs> Wife, are you okay? I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. But we're married. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? We kicked its ass. I'm a badass. It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. What does that mean? Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Millilith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Keqing's command, our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. Well, yeah, everyone would have died. On behalf of the entire Millilith, Thank you for your service. Everyone would have drowned in a tsunami. <sighs> Just like the hero in the story. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't I love her. trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted to protect you. Yeah, so can we get married? Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. Ah, the bitchy pheasant. You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen He. That's very true. She do have a point. That I do not deny. However, I do not know who she is. You're right. Was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it. I could always destroy Is she from Fontaine, I assume? 
One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidence some degree of novel thinking. Maybe, maybe not, that's fair. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis. In well, I've done a good chunk of Sumeru, so I'm pretty confident she's a Fontaine. progress compared to the last time. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough. But there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future. Do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter. While the position of Tianjin remains mine, I will always ensure Liyue's safety. Shen He. One saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago. And notice the air of dejection in which you returned. Aww. Hopefully this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but... I feel happier than I expected. I love her. Hmm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shen He. She is a dear child. I will. Can you make her banner come, fact, like, right now? One has many fond memories of Shen He's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. Oh my god, please. There'll be no need for that. Cloud Retainer, I'll forgive you for every bitchy thing you said. If you tell me all of Shen He's baby stories. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. No, I want to hear the baby stories. Come back. Yes. Have a good rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. Beidou is nice. This I do like Beidou. I just have no need for Beidou. Ever. I think my favorite four-star character that I think is, like, hot is Sara. I don't like bows is the problem. Like, Sara's really hot, and I love her character, I love her design, I love everything about her. But I don't like bows because I'm a lousy shot. I also don't even have Sara yet, but I will get Sara eventually. I will level up Sara purely out of spite, because I like her. But, like, I'm not good at bows. I just think she's really pretty. I hate catching. Why is Ganyu not here? The Mordless casualties are within the range we expected. But in hindsight, there were still flaws with our plan. If we'd had more time, we could have built a barrier here to absorb the impact of the waves. We must learn from this experience and never repeat the same mistakes again. We were fortunate to have your assistance this time. Thank you. I mean, no plan ever survives first contact with the enemy, so... Don't be so hard on yourself. Literally no plan ever survives first contact. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Why is Ningguang sitting alone Why instead of with us? First time attending a banquet in the Jade Chamber. The food here looks amazing. All of you here are my distinguished guests. I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please help yourself to other beverages. Fine wine is a delight to the senses, but it is far from the only one. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. We have apple juice. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Miss Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. That man's a whole I sample. she's going to perform the Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. Hey, look! Ms. Yun is going on stage! Isn't this kind of a waste to do an opera for, like, four people?
Oh, this looks cool already. Oh, I guess she did change part of it. Oh, I guess she changed it even though Senha told her not to. Oh, what the fuck? This is so cool looking! Great in the, the original Cantonese. Shen Yu Pi Guan, Dao Jeli, Bengai Jian Wei Sheng, Dan Jin Ri, Wazai Tian Yi Bi, Chang Yu Zhu Wei Ting. Oh, she wrote more to it. She added more past the story. So cool! That's a wallpaper right there! Bishihohui,茫茫天地,无依靠,孤身离去,今日再会,新朋旧友坐满堂,共聚此时。Ah, look, Shinha's smiling. Yeah, Shinha's never leaving my team once I get her. Did you think? Personally, I thought I sang rather well. Legit have goosebumps. That was amazing. Beautiful. Legit have goosebumps. Paiwan, no. It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Li Yue Harbor. Thank you. I think I've found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun, <laughs> here you are. Great to see you. Oh, no. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it, like an adeptus. Do all the adeptus have white hair? Hey, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. This was definitely worth showing up for. Let me pull up a chair. All right. No. We'll all have a friendly. This is why I don't drink. Go away. I don't like drunk see. This is why I don't drink. Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. <laughs> <laughs> Seems we have a long way to go. What do you mean she's perfect as is? What do you mean she's perfect? He totally. Hey, what are you doing? Apparently, she's gonna feed you the drink up your ass. I love her so much. <laughs> ah, no, I love her so much. I love you. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I'm glad Master sent me here to deliver the sigils. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the chance to meet you. I'm sure I have much to learn from you in the future. Yeah, wait till your banner comes around. Don't worry. Hello. To act, one must first feel. After uh. our trip to Mount Tianhong together, 
I felt much more in touch with the character today. I believe I was able to deliver a more profound performance because of it. Probably. Next time I have a new opera, may we study the character together again? Yeah, I'm sure I'll summon you eventually by accident. I think you're a four-star, aren't you? I think I'll summon her by accident, I'm sure. Hi, Ningguang. You've made an exceptional contribution toward the building of the new Jade Chamber. I sure did. I will not forget this. I shall be sure to repay your kindness at an appropriate juncture. You know, Ningguang, you act like we're not friends, and I've known you for a long time and saved your ass several times, and you act like we're not friends. Well, time for always the best part, jumping off the J-Chamber. Whee! Geronimo! I love jumping off the J- I love jumping off the J-Chamber. Whee! That was fun. Achievements. Oh, achievements. Complete the reconstruction of Jade Chamber. Defeat Burst, Avenger of the Vortex. God, Avenger of the Vortex is still such a good fucking name. Ministry of the Village History. Complete the Crane Returns to the Wind. Nice. Look at all them Primo Gems, which I can't use for anything because I need to save them for Ito, even though I'm really tempted to try to get Farina's weapon. But I won't. I have self-control. Kind of. Not much, but a little bit. I have, eno I have enough that I care about Ito. Because I really want my boy. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Anyway, I actually have somewhere I have to be because I have to see a friend at 1 o'clock, so I'm going to stop stream there. I might be back later tonight to continue, but I'm going to stop stream here because I have to go somewhere. So, it was kind of a shorter one today, but I'll probably do more. I might do more this afternoon or tomorrow. I don't know. Depends on how my schedule works out. But... Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. Ashley, especially, it was nice seeing you again. I know it's been a while. But yeah, I will see you guys next time, and thank you for joining me. Getting stuff for Hydro Daddy. Nice. I'm jealous. I want him too, actually, kind of, because he's really fun. His hyper, his hyper beam is so dumb. But yep, I will see you guys next time. Bye, chat.